process of making cocoa powder at home is quite easy and simple. All you need is an organic cocoa nibs and a blender. So today let's make our cocoa powder from the very comfort of our home. I'm Nancy Ogwebo and you are welcome to my kitchen. Okay, first thing first, you have to open all the cocoa pot and remove the cocoa beans, which is the seed. So I'm going to transfer all the cocoa beans into the bowl. Thank you beautiful people for always coming back to watch me. I truly appreciate all your support and I'm not taking your love for granted, okay? And for those that are coming across my video for the first time, hello, you're welcome here. Here we make amazing recipe that you will love. Please stay connected, subscribe, hit the like button and let's continue. So next, I'll transfer it to my sink and I'm going to wash it till I remove all the soggy parts, those whitish parts that you're seeing here. After doing this, I have to go back to wash it again. So some people left the cocoa seed to ferment for about three days, but I didn't do that. I didn't ferment mine. I went ahead to use it immediately. Next, you sun dried for three to five days. I didn't sun dry mine. I dried mine with my oven. Next, I've transferred it into my pan. I'm gonna pan fry this a bit. Okay, and see it's popping. So you have to be careful at this point while doing this. Okay, stir this and it is ready. So I'm gonna remove the outer skin like peeling it because it's dry enough now you can just use your finger to press it and the outer skin will go off continue with this until you are done this is the seed next i'll transfer it to my blender and i'm gonna blend this till it is very very smooth the health benefits of cocoa are many from boosting the immune system to helping lower blood pressure, it's also a healthy and delicious way to improve your health. So let's blend. Okay, power holding, I've done it again. <laughs> okay, they took the light. Let's continue blending. Okay, so after blending, I'm gonna sieve, sieve it so I'll get a fine powder. Now you have your own homemade cocoa powder and it is very very easy and simple to do. You can store this in an airtight container until you are ready to use, okay? So what I did is I went ahead to pan fry it again to get this other color. It's very easy to do and the result was amazing. Thank you beautiful people for always coming back to watch me. I truly appreciate all your support and I'm not taking your love for granted, okay? So I'm going to see you in my next video. From me is bye-bye.